part of the first major landmark of my walk to Fleetwood is Blackpool Football Club. Second major landmark is of course the Blackpool Tower. Uh, we can forget the um, tram depot because that's shut because I don't think the trams run during the winter. So here's the uh, third point of interest, Central Pier. And the sea of course. And uh, another view of uh, Blackpool Tower and some amusement arcades across the other side of the road. Oh look! That's one of those black and yellow buses. So here's the next um, point of interest. It is, oh my god, I think it's Central Pier it's called. And right behind me is the Blackpool Tower, which I guess we must get a close-up of. Although it does say there, five amazing attractions in, great, in one great place. You've got the jungle gyms, you've got the ballroom, You've got the Blackpool Tower, you've got the circus, you've got the something, the Blackpool Tower Dungeon. Yes, that's five. So here we go. The Blackpool Tower in all its glory. Oh, magnificent. Right, I think we've done all the attractions in Blackpool now. So I must get a move on because I've got to have my fish and chip lunch. I spotted another major Blackpool attraction, the Winter Gardens, which is up this alleyway. I'm not going to go up there, and I will zoom in so we can get a closer view of this magnificent Everdis. Dust can't come fast. I know, co op man. There we go, the Winter Gardens. It's called Eden Club, Blackpool's premier lap dancing club. Make sure I don't go there then. Right, I was wrong. It's the North Pier, not the Central Pier. I should have realised that because I already said that was the Central Pier. I've got to hunt down a postcard from somewhere. I don't want to go off my route. They told me to go up the street from the tourist information, but I really don't want to do that. Here's a major attraction. These lovely beachside... Um, what do you call them? Benches, covered benches, they're marvellous. Absolutely fantastic. There's loads of them. Wow. This may not be a traditional Blackpool site. I must admit, every time I go past this hotel, which is called the Norwich, no, the Norbreck Castle Hotel, it just fascinates me because I, I just can't believe how big it is. I can't believe how many bedrooms it must have. I can't believe all that sewage and all that water and all that hot water and how many staff they must need and how they wash all the sheets and the napkins and the knives and forks and stuff. I just find it quite incredible. I just really do find it amazing. I'll take another shot as I get a little bit closer. Well, it's even got its own... Um, tram stop called Norbrick. In fact, there comes a tram now. So just look at it. All those rooms. The staff they must have. Amazing. And the car park, whenever I've been past here before, the car park is always full up. And I remember the first time I came up here, I caught the bus back on a Saturday morning. And, I, and no word of a lie, the bus must have waited at the bus stop over there for a good 10 to 15 minutes while people got on and of course everyone was paying by cash because obviously they're holiday makers so they won't have oyster type cards or bus passes or travel passes or whatever <laughs> actually it was awful <laughs> but anyway just thought I'd let you know this is one of the uh, most amazing hotels I've seen and uh, oh there goes the tram again that's off, the, that's off its way to Fleetwood Ferry no don't get carried away about the Fleetwood Ferry it only goes as far as not end I've arrived at uh, Cleveley's. This is where I'm going to um, stop to have my fish and chip lunch. Um, oh, looks like it suffered a bit in the storms back behind me where some of the old um, sea walls have been knocked down. Although this part here, which has only been built in the last three or four years, has obviously stood the test of time a lot better. Yes. 
I wonder what this is. Obviously got deposited during the storm that was up here a few weeks ago. When I first saw it, I thought maybe it's something that's been blown off the beach or a promenade, but I don't recall seeing anything like this previously, but it does look sort of architectural. Um, what it does remind me of, it reminds me of uh, Planet of the Apes, where they're riding on the beach and then they come across uh, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs>